on your screen is a live view of Falcon 9 awaiting its 5.27 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Hello and welcome to SpaceX's 55th launch of 2022 for our customer OneWeb. Falcon 9 is our two-stage rocket and stands at 250 feet or 70, 70 meters tall, roughly the height of a 20-story building. When it's fully fueled, it'll hold just over a million pounds of propellant that the vehicle will mostly burn through in less than three minutes after liftoff. And we began loading these propellants on both stages of the vehicle at T minus 35 minutes. The bottom two thirds of the vehicle is the first stage. At the very bottom of the first stage are nine Merlin engines that will get the Falcon 9 off the ground and up to the thinner parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The two stages will then separate from one another with the second stage continuing on to orbit while the first stage makes its way back down to Earth for its landing attempt back on land at landing zone one in Cape Canaveral, which is not too far from where it will take off. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, lift off. tracking the Falcon 9. Now we're coming up for main engine cutoff in just a few seconds. Watch out for those five events. just under 10 seconds. Daytime boost back shut down. That was the end of the stage one boost back burn. And here coming up shortly, we should have fairing deployment from our second stage. Fairing separation confirmed. Yeah. 
requiring separation. You can see those at that attitude control system. The attitude control system on that first stage, creating those beautiful plumes in the sky on those views from your left. And we did have a confirmation of a good fairing separation for both of our fairing halves. And this is the fifth and sixth flight of those fairing halves today. And we will be attempting to retrieve them once more when they fall back down to earth using our recovery ship, Doug. Now here at T plus four minutes and 20 seconds into today's mission, we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns ahead of satellite deployment. At T plus six minutes and four seconds, you should see the first stage's entry burn. And we're currently watching some beautiful light show performances from the first stage as it is making its way back down to Earth with those plumes coming from our attitude control system, which is nitrogen cold gas thrusters near the top of the first stage. Now for the entry burn coming up in about a minute, we will relight three of our nine M1D engines. So it'll start with the center engine, followed shortly by the uh, E1 and E5 engines. <laughs> First stage really putting on a beautiful, incredible show there. Now we do that entry burn of the first stage to slow the vehicle down and help reduce re-entry forces to help us recover and reuse that first stage. First stage and second stage continue to look healthy. We are about 30 seconds away from the start of our entry burn on the first stage. And this will be about a 20 second burn of three of our M1D engines to slow that- Stage two following level trajectory. To slow that first stage down as it re-enters the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Hopefully we'll get some really beautiful views from the first stage there on the left. Stage one entry burn start up. There is the start of our first stage entry burn, as you can see. And you can see that first stage flying through that entry burn plume, which deposits that soot on the first stage. Stage one entry burn shut down. Did to get that call out for a good stage entry one burn. Stage one saved. Stage two continues to be on a nominal trajectory. We are getting some spotty camera connectivity, but everything is looking good from stage two telemetry. You can see the first stage is coming down back towards landing zone one, and we will start our landing burn of that first stage in just about 10 seconds here. You can see the Cape Canaveral coast on your screen stage on the two, right. Is that start of our first stage landing burn? Stage one landing burn. Really incredible views from the first stage. Stage one landing lake deploy. 